what is going on YouTube it's me and the kid and um today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to overclock your AMD Radeon GPU or graphics processing unit or your graphics card um, the quick and simple way now before we begin the tutorial I'd give this a difficulty rating of let's say five it's fairly simple but where the complicated part comes in is later on and I will explain. So you're going to need a couple of applications for this. You're going to need um, Furmark. Uh, you're going to need uh, GPU-Z or GPU-Z. You see Z here in Canada. Uh, and um, You're going to need a, a demanding game or one of the most demanding games on your computer and the whole point of overclocking is um, to get more frames per second or better performance uh, with your graphics card anyway so um, yeah you're gonna need th these three or these two actually I have the link for these two in the description plus you're gonna need to have AMD Catalyst um, software AMD Vision Control um, Center you're gonna have to have that installed and um, yeah so let's begin uh, what you want to do is you want to open up GPU Z right and um, you just can just look at your system information see what card you have I got the 6800 series which I might upgrade um, just might uh, tells you everything that you need to know so if you look down here it tells you the default clock and uh, my default clock is 900 megahertz and uh, my memory default clock is 10 f or 1050 megahertz or 1050 and I, you can, as you guys can tell I've overclocked it to 960 and um, I've also overclocked it, my memory uh, to 1105 so I'm going to show you guys how to do this real quick and uh, so yeah let's begin uh, open up AMD Vision Engine Control Center or Catalyst Control Center and then go under performance. Now click on AMD Overdrive and click graph configure graphics overdrive. If this is the first time you're doing this, you're gonna get a warning and um, you wanna click OK and proceed. Um, you wanna click check this, enable AMD Overdrive and uh, apply. Okay, now here's the tricky part. You want to open up uh, Firmark, right? Firmark is a free, it's free open source. I think it's open source. I'm not sure if it's open source. I think it's just oh, it's not open source. Copyright. It's free um, software um, that allows you to stress your GPU. And um, yeah, so once you have uh, Firmark open up, you wanna. I'm gonna reset this to default, right? You wanna bump up your um, GPU clock settings by increments of like let's say 10. So increments of 10. Uh, but I'm gonna put put it back on the settings that which I have on because it's the best settings. But yeah, bump it up by increments of 10, and every time you bump it up on each. Um, do a stress test and um, set it to the level that you should play at. So if you play with, I don't know, let's say 2x or 4x anti-aliasing on 1280 by 720, you want to click uh, benchmark user results, right? And then it's going to give you a caution, burn test at your own risk, and then click go. And um, if you have monitoring software, uh, it will tell you how many frames per second you are getting and um, I'm pretty sure since I have um, what's it called Camtasia Studio recording this right now uh, it takes a toll on how many frames I actually get but as you guys can tell I'm getting like 20 19 frames per second on this and uh, I'll be getting way more if I wasn't recording but yeah they can also monitor your uh, GPU temperature right here where is it uh, right there TPU temperature it's at 66 um, once it gets past um, 80 
which these cards can usually go up to like I think 90 but don't let it get past um, 80 right so if you overclock and you s you do a stress test and you see that it goes past I don't know 80 85 uh, then down you want to down clock or underclock underclock it to uh, to uh, compensate for the amount of heat that it generates so let me just do one more test so yeah yeah so it doesn't really make a difference I'm recording so my frames obviously is gonna be affected um, but yeah with these two applications just keep on increasing it and um, keep testing it and uh, I think you should be good from there on oh one more thing so after you've got everything stable and you're happy with your overclock settings um, let's say you have one of, you have to open up one of the most demanding games um, in your computer and for me that is Metro 2033 um, or is it so if you usually some games come with a benchmark tool uh, Metro comes with one, so you want to navigate to Steam. Well, this is just where mine is. So, I'll navigate to Steam, go to Common, Metro 2033, and then the Benchmark Tools right here. And then uh, you can actually change the settings and, um, yeah, and then run the benchmark. Um, but here is after afterwards um, I just tell you like the results so after five runs with the settings at 1920 uh, there are X11 quality very high which is ultra anti alias and at 4x um, texture filtering at 16x and uh, physics disabled tessellation enabled and DOF or degree disabled um, I get a uh, average frame rate after all those tests of 28.8 um, frames per second and the max frame rate of 60. Um, of course I don't play with these settings because 30 frames per second for me is not playable so I would play it around like let's say high with 4x and alias and or with and a look and alias and then I'll run the benchmark and see what I get but um, do this if you're with a couple of games that have a benchmarking tool and um, you should be good from there on uh, alright guys it's been Andy the Kid getting tired so I'm gonna probably head to sleep so peace out